Hey, hey, hey. Good morning. 6.28, Hawaii time, still dark outside. Hello, Mora. 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 I always have the hardest time with your name. But if I met you and talked to you, I probably wouldn't have that hard time. Mora. How's that? Mora. Good morning. So uh, how about you guys tell me uh, while we're warming up and waiting for bottom of the hour in one minute, um, who are you and where are you? How about that? So it's uh, going to be a beautiful day in Hawaii. I get done with this. I'm going to go play some early golf. And then I'm going to prep the house for my high school buddies who are coming from California for four days. Kimmy's headed to Bora Bora, so the boys will play. Mara, gosh. Well, Mara, have you ever thought about changing the spelling to M-A-R-A? <laughs> Help a guy out, right? You just put in parentheses on StreamYard and Facebook. M-O-I-R-A and then in parentheses M-A-R-A. Then everybody know. Good morning, Randy. What's going on in Arkansas? Aloha, Richard. Uh, all right. Well, it's top of the hour. And so um, I got a hard stop golf game. So that's to your benefit because I won't talk your ear off. How about that? Hello, Don Miller, Oklahoma. Thank you for sharing. I noticed you shared something on LinkedIn the other day. Appreciate that. I watched a great movie, Don, last night. Um, gosh, I probably can't remember the name of it. Um, but you can find it on Netflix. Uh, and it's all about the Johnson family that were uh, cattle ranchers in Chickasha. Um in like the um, 17, 1800s, late 1800s. And uh, they uh, maxed out their cattle ranch at 135,000 head of cattle and 1.3 million acres. They founded eight towns in Oklahoma, including Norman and Oklahoma City. So it's kind of a, not like a Academy Award winning, movie, but fascinating story about a half Chickasha, half English guy who became uh, the most prominent rancher in the state of Oklahoma and carved it out of rock. So go check it out, Don. All right. So what are we talking about this morning? Uh, I just want to, you know, I was trolling through some stuff that I've written. I have, I have a lot of stuff. I have like hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube. I have probably 200 blogs. Um, I don't know how many podcasts, maybe 100, 200 podcasts. And something I don't do very often is go look at my own website. And so I just happen to be looking at my website and some of my blogs. And um, I thought, you know what? People might enjoy this, might be able to use this somehow in building their business. So what I'm going to walk you through um, this morning, very briefly, is the 12 reasons why network marketing is the most extraordinary in income opportunity on the planet. How about that? And then I'm going to follow it with 10 reasons why it's not. <laughs> Why do I do stuff like 10, 12 reasons why it is and 10 reasons why it's not? Well, because I wrote this as a tool for you to use to educate your prospects. And I consider prospects to be anybody that's not building. So, you know, you got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that you haven't talked to yet. Maybe hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that you've asked and they said no. But then you also have perhaps hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of people on your team that are not building. They're just customers or they're building, you know, maybe they enroll one, two, three people a year or something like that. So they don't get it. They don't see the opportunity. So I write stuff like this and I interview people as tools 
for you all to use to move people, move your prospects to want to know more, move people who said no to maybe, okay, the second or third or fourth time I take a look, maybe you just show it to me in a way, in a way, you show it to me in a way where, you know, I get it, right? What about in the house? What about with a mouse? So let's walk through the 12 reasons why network marketing and the 10 reasons why it's not. And then I'll show you some other tools that you might want to use. Okay. So uh, reason number one, you can earn while you learn and you can, right? So network marketing is, is a profession. It's a set of skills. It's not something that people have probably ever done before in their life. And there's not very many professions that are like it. One of the, probably the closest that I can think of is real estate. Because in real estate, let's say you're a brand new realtor. Well, you can do real estate part-time, right? So you can learn real estate while you're earning in real estate. And how do you start off as a realtor? Well, how some people do it is they go sit in the office and take, you know, overflow phone calls. You know, they kind of take their duty at the desk and answer just random people who are calling in. What about this house? What about that house? The problem with that, of course, is the people calling, they don't have any relationship with you as a realtor. And you know that people looking to buy a home, they don't have any loyalty to realtors at all, generally. they I mean, that's part of the secret to real estate is you got to develop relationships with people. So no matter what they're doing, buying or selling, no matter who they happen to bump into, they always come back to you as the realtor, that takes years to develop that. So real estate's similar in that you can earn while you learn, but in real estate, it takes three or four years of talking to lots of people. Yeah, you can sit in the office and take phone calls, but really how you build up your real estate business is you got to call. I mean, imagine all of you that you know realtors or you know anybody that's done this. If a realtor would actually ask four people a day, um, hey, do you know anybody or are you interested in selling your house or buying a house or anything like that? If you just ask that question four times a day, five, six days a week for two or three years in year five or six or seven, you would kill it in real estate. You'd be making two or 300 grand a year. Same business development model as network marketing. You don't get paid much on the upfront, you get paid overpaid on the back end. But in real estate, as soon as you stop, the income stops, right? Second reason is you can choose your own hours. You can do that in real estate, um, but you can do it in network marketing. So, you know, you can you can work like every morning from 6 to 7 a.m. or every evening from 6 to 7 a.m. You can work three days a week, six days a week, one day a week. You can do whatever you want. Total flexibility. Guess who's looking for that today? Millions of people that are quitting their jobs every month looking for flexibility. So you can launch your self-employment for a few hundred dollars, sometimes less. Where else can you get in an income option? I won't even call it a business because, you know, it hardly qualifies as a business. From a tax standpoint, it does. But network marketing is not really a business. And guess what? People aren't looking for a business anyway. They're looking for flexibility. They're looking for income. They're looking for upside. They're looking for quality of life. So... Self-employment, work from home, work from phone. That's what people are looking for. And in network marketing, you can get started for whatever an initial supply of product costs, which is not much, $100, $200, $500. Even if you invested $1,000 because you bought a training program and you really bought a good full complement of products, that's nothing to start the kind of income opportunity that will earn you the kind of money you can earn in network marketing. You're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. What does that mean? It means you didn't you didn't just go like, you know, start some business where you got, you know, your whole life savings invested in it. And everybody you know that's in the same business is competing with you. So they're not going to help you out at all. In fact, they're looking to put you out of business. So in network marketing, you're self-employed, but you're part of a community. You're part of a village that everybody's lifting each other up. And you know that's true. And your network marketing company doesn't matter which one it is. Yeah, maybe some teams are a little bit secretive about some things they do outside their team. But in your team, anything that's working for your upline, 
your downline, anybody on your team, people are going to share it with you. So you got all these people, this village to raise you up, right? So you get the tax advantages of uh, having a phone-based business. I mean, one of the most powerful things you can do, folks, is take one of these uh, Sandy Botkins, or Google Sandy Botkin, or maybe uh, Susie can drop a link for you. Sandy Botkin is a former IRS agent turned network marketing tax strategist. He has probably the best and simplest course. I don't know. Maybe it's 50 bucks. Maybe it's $200. Maybe it's $500. It doesn't matter. It's worth it because if you take Sandy's really basic course, you'll see how you can make maybe two, three, four, five, six thousand dollars a year without even selling any product yet or recruiting anybody just in the tax advantages of being in network marketing. And the cool thing about tax advantages is that's income after taxes. It's net income. So if I save five hundred dollars that I don't have to pay the government, I get to keep that money. It's after tax net income to me. Tax savings is net income. Go study any of those courses and learn how you can make three, four, five thousand dollars a year just in tax savings. You can partner with a national, oftentimes global company. What does that mean? It means you can live anywhere, right? You know, so here, Kimmy and I are on this little tiny island, 3,000 people. You know, you got to take a boat or a plane to get to civilization. All we need is a cell signal or maybe internet would be like luxury, but all we really need is a 4G or LTE cell signal. And if we're in a global company, if we're a distributor in a company that's all over the world, even if they're in only you know three countries or five countries or 10 countries, or then we have a business that can expand globally. So you can be anywhere. You can be in Chickasha, Oklahoma, or, or you can be in Lanai, and you can have customers and a sales force all over the world. Where else can you do that? You can't do that in real estate. Only one, two real estate companies you can do that in, and it's just nationally, really probably not globally, and that's um, Keller Williams and, um, you know, the other one, which are both network marketing companies. Here's one of the biggest upsides of being at network marketing. So you're starting out. You put, you know, through your $500 and got yourself some products, and you got your phone and maybe your laptop, and you're somewhere in the world. And you want to build an income with a particular product, a particular culture, perhaps a particular system, a particular comp plan in a particular company. You're one of, you know, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people. And you're brand new and you're just starting off. You get to get mentored by multimillionaires. That's right. Unless you're in a startup company, there are multimillionaire distributors somewhere in your upline. They might be 10 generations up, but they're up there. If your company's, you know, five, six, seven years old, if it's over $50 million a year, um, you got a multimillionaire. I don't, I don't, I, I mean, somebody that's making like 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month somewhere in your upline. And guess what? They want you to make $50,000 a month. They want you to have the same success they had. Where else do you get that system? Nowhere in the world. So what they want to coach you. They want to give you their system. They want you to win. They want to champion you. They want to celebrate you. They want to give you everything they've got. You make 10 grand a month. They make another thousand dollars a month, right? So I don't know what number we're on. I should have numbered these, but a whole community of collaboration. So it's, it's, it's like this village concept again. It's you got collaboration. You got an idea, you can float it by everybody on your team. You got somebody in Poland, you know, you live in Chickasha, Oklahoma, you got a prospect or a new distributor in Poland. If your company's open in Poland, you got people there you can help, that can help you. You got somebody in Poland you can call or message and say, hey, how's, how's it work in Poland? You got collaboration. And then you got the secret secret weapon, and that's exponential growth. And you know that is the number one benefit of network marketing. Without exponential growth, all we are is a direct selling opportunity. We're real estate. We're selling mortgages. We're we're selling anything. And yeah, you can you know, I I, I got a, a buddy that makes 20, 30 grand a month selling cars and has for decades. But guess how much money he makes when he quits selling cars? 
And guess how much money he makes if it's not him selling the car? None. He only makes money if he's selling the car. He does get like a half of a deal sometimes if he's on vacation and somebody comes in and asks for him. But that's the extent of how he leverages his time. A half a deal. So he only gets half the income and only if somebody asks for him. But in network marketing, people are tied to us by their social security number, their ID number in this web genealogy. It's like a genealogy of family tree. And whenever they order, we get paid. And it grows exponentially. It doesn't grow like four who get four who get four who get four. So it's not four, 16, 64, 256, 1,004, 4,096. But that's an example of what it could be. It's more like you know, lily pads on a pond or actually more like rabbits, right? So some rabbits might have a litter of 11. Some rabbits might have a litter of one. Rabbits are not a great analogy because rabbits always recruit. They always duplicate, right? As long as you get a female and male rabbit in the same field, there's going to be more rabbits. Not the case in network marketing, 98, 97% of the people on your team don't recruit. That's one of the holy grail opportunities is let's inspire them to recruit. You get more duplication. Exponential growth, number one benefit of network marketing. It allows you to, you're maybe working 10 hours a week, but you get paid on 100 hours a week or 1,000 hours a week or 10,000 hours a week. And yeah, your pay goes down as the generations grow out. But what would you rather have? What would you rather do? Make $10,000 a month based on your own efforts, your own hours that you put in, or make $10,000 a month spread out over 1,000 people, which is the next point and benefit of network marketing, that your income is spread out over 1,000 sources, rendering each one of them, including you, inconsequential. Now, you know, somebody that's doing a thousand, has a thousand people on their team, they're probably doing a million dollars a year in sales. So that's a big business. It's a rarity. Very few people do that. I'm not suggesting anybody does. Anybody, almost anybody can, hardly anybody does. So pick your, pick your mantra, right? Pick your self-fulfilling prophecy, pick your affirmation, right? Anyone can you know, pick that one. Hardly anybody does pick that one. Which one do you want? I picked the, uh, anyone can. So, you know, if only one out of a thousand people do it, or do you consider yourself a 99.9 percenter? Are you part of the crowd? Are you average? Or are you exceptional? Are you super exceptional? So if you want to make, you know, a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars a month in network marketing, you got to answer, ask and answer that question. Are you part of the masses? Nothing wrong with that. If you are, if you're average, if you have average ambition, average work ethic, average credibility, well, you're not going to make $10,000 a month in network marketing, not until you change the average. Are you exceptional? So, but choose. Hardly anybody does. That's because they're average and they stay average, right? But when you spread your income out over 100 people or 1,000 people, so just think of, you know, the diamond shape. Network marketing is not a pyramid. It's actually a diamond. It's not a pyramid. The, the bottom of your team is not the widest generation. The, the bottom of your team is the narrowest generation. So if your team goes down 10 generations, you have far fewer people on your 10th generation than you do at your fifth. In fact, you're in most big network marketing teams, the largest generation is about the fifth maybe the sixth. After that, it tapers down. So in the diamond, right, each person in the diamond that's making up your income, whatever it is, they're pretty inconsequential. Now, you know, if somebody is a leader and they have 30% of your team and they quit and join another company, well, that can be consequential for sure because they may lead people over there. But, you know, that's part of what we get paid for is leadership, culture, motivation, coaching, keeping people feeling appreciated, communicated with, so they don't leave and go somewhere else. But yet people leave, go somewhere else. That's part of the nature of network marketing. And the last, 
reason why network marketing is the most extraordinary opportunity on the on the planet is because by its very nature, it's a personal development program. So 30 years ago, I discovered a, a perspective, a paradigm, maybe 40 years ago, it's probably 40 years ago, that the network marketing company that I was building, which was a gasoline additive company, that it was nothing more than a personal development program disguised as a fuel additive company. And most network marketing companies that are deeply steeped in personal development, they're whatever their products are disguised, uh, they're a personal development program disguised as whatever products they're selling. Why? Because that's what's really going on, at least at the leadership level, is the way you expand your comfort zone and expand your income. So if you're making $1,000 a month, then that's your comfort zone in your company. You want to make $5,000 a month, you got to expand your comfort zone. You have to become more. You have to grow. You have to develop. You have to learn to listen. You have to learn to visualize. You have to learn to believe. You got to learn to communicate and inspire and be coached and coach other people and expand your comfort zone. As you expand, your income expands. That's the way it works in network marketing. So people that are smart, that are looking to up their income, they don't necessarily work harder in terms of how many more people they talk to, although they may need to do that. But the most important thing they do is work harder on them, right? So now for balance and transparency, let's talk about the 10 reasons why network marketing isn't the best opportunity on the planet. Number one, anyone can enroll. Anyone. So anybody with a bad attitude can enroll. Anybody with no work ethic can enroll. Anyone that joins things, you know, seems like a good idea at, a time, at the time. And then three days later, it seems like a good idea to join something else. And, you know, people join stuff all the time. They don't do anything with it. So why do 97% of the people that join a network marketing don't make any money? Because anyone can join. Uh, what's another reason why it's not the best opportunity on the planet? Because you can work whatever you want. Wait a minute, I thought you said that was one of the reasons it is. It is for those who have a work ethic. But if you if you have the employee mentality where, you know, you need somebody to clock you in and clock you out, you need somebody managing your time and your productivity, then this is not the best opportunity for you because you're going to take the route of least resistance. You're going to seek the, the level of, the least amount of effort for the maximum reward. And in network marketing, that's a formula for failure. Um, what's another reason why network marketing is not the best opportunity? Because 95% of the people that you ask are gonna say no. So think about that. This is a profession. This is a lifestyle. This is something we do just because it's a profession. That doesn't mean you have to do it 40 hours a week. You can do it four hours a week or 40 minutes a week. If you're doing it for income, it's a profession. But this is a profession where almost everybody says no. So if your attitude, if your story about rejection is they don't like me, they don't like what I'm doing, this isn't going to work. This isn't fun. If your body chemistry changes for the negative, every time somebody tells you no, you're not cut out for this. This will kill you. This will eat your lunch. Network marketing will eat your lunch if your attitude towards rejection is that you, you edify it. You endorse it. Somebody says, no, that's a pyramid scheme. And you go, oh, what if it is? You're done, right? So how do you win in network marketing? Well, you just got to have the attitude that when people say, no, what does that mean? Not now. You got to have the attitude that everybody has a number. What's the number? How many times they have to be asked before they at least look? How many times do they have to be presented to before they get in? We all have a number. Now, some people, it might be 100, right? Some people, are they're not worth the effort because it'll take you a lifetime to get them in. But everybody's got a number. Why, why does everybody have a number? Because this is really an organic, natural opportunity. If you find a product you absolutely love, why wouldn't you want to tell people about it? And why wouldn't you want to cash the checks the company sends you for telling people about it? It's pretty much that simple, right? So eventually, 
almost everybody's going to get in network marketing. They're going to find a product they love. They're going to find a culture and a group of people that they feel safe with, and they're going to join. Everybody's got a number. So, you know, it's like the deck of cards, right? Flipping through the deck of cards, you're just looking for the aces. If you don't have that attitude in network marketing, you're done. Delayed gratification. I talked about that with real estate. Why is that one of the reasons this is the worst opportunity on the planet? Because most people are wired up. They want the most amount of income for the least amount of effort. I want the most amount of income for the least amount of effort. That's the way they're wired up. That's their work ethic. It's not a bad thing. Maybe it's an efficiency thing, or maybe it's even a smart thing. But in network marketing, you got to be wired different. You got to not eat the marshmallow. If you're not familiar with that, um, maybe Susie can drop a link to the marshmallow story for you. But um, you go dig in and tell me, are you a marshmallow eater or are you a marshmallow saver after you watch what she drops in the comments? But network marketing, delayed gratification. So if you're an immediate, go drive Uber. Go sell real estate or do mortgages, do something part-time, make money now. Network marketing, sure, you can make $500 or $1,000 a month now. And some companies are more, the, the, the design is more upfront money than not. But generally, network marketing as an opportunity is really designed for build it once, get paid forever. So you might have to invest three or four or five or six years in the building it once so that you get paid forever. Why uh, is network marketing not one of the best opportunities on the planet? Because people are fit, fickle. You know, the way people don't keep their word, the way people join things is based on, what well, seems like a good idea. I'll try this, right? So how many people joined your team or how many people became customers on your product through the pathway of, I'll try this. And so I could also, you know, spend 20 minutes teaching you the distinction of try, but you've probably already seen it. There's no such thing. What's another reason why? There's at least, well, probably right now, I think there's about 700 network marketing companies based in the United States. And almost all of them in the next five years are going out of business. Almost all of them. 95% of them in the next five years will be out of business. 95% will be out of business. So the, the, the reason why network marketing, one of the reasons it's not a good opportunity is almost everybody joining today a network marketing company based in the United States is not vetting that company based on how long they've been in business. They're not vetting the company based on, well, have you proven that you know how to do this as a company? Have you proven that you can withstand adversity? Have you proven you can withstand success? Are, are you, have you proven you're here like, if I build this, have you proven I can get paid forever, including my kids and my grandkids? Have you proven that? Are you a legacy company? There's only about, you know, out of those 700, there might be about 50 that have proven their legacy companies. And there's probably only about 20 of those worth building. But do the hundreds of thousands of people that are joining a network marketing company every month know that? Do they have that distinction? No, they join whatever company somebody shows them in the moment, which means they're joining a failure. They're signing up in an opportunity that is going to crash and burn and they don't know it. If they're a recruiter, they're out telling all their friends and family and neighbors to join a company that's going to fail, right? So it's one of the reasons why network marketing is not a good opportunity because people are joining companies that are gonna fail. You got to overcome the inertia of team building, right? Until, until you get four or 500 people on your team, you're pushing the car up the hill. So if you haven't read the four-year career, find the car somewhere in here. Where is the car graphic? Car. I should know where it is. Anyway, it's like pushing a car up a hill, right? If you run out of gas, and the gas station's on the other side of the hill. What you have to do with your car is you got to put it in neutral. You got to run behind the car. You got to give it everything you've got to even stop it from going backwards, right? You got to push like crazy. If you ever stop pushing until you crest the hill, I can't find the car. Um, the car is going to come to a stop and then it's going to go backwards. 
And that's the same way in network marketing. Until you get four or 500 people on your team, if you ever stop pushing, it's going to go backwards. But once you crest the hill, once you get four or 500 active people on your team, it's just going to start growing organically on its own. Why? Because you got enough people in four or 500 that get it, that are building it. And so they're going to keep growing it, right? And of course, 99% of the people that join do not earn an income, but I think I covered that, right? <clears throat> so that's the 12 ways. Um, and what I wanted to show you before I wrapped up was... Um, this one last thing i'm getting really good at stream yard so if you haven't checked this out i encourage you to check out this tab uh, on my website now this tab is hard to find it's really hard to find because it is at the very bottom of my website in little print alongside um, things like contact and my address and stuff like that it says MLM tools, MLM tools. This is what exists on MLM tools. Here's an ebook called the five mistakes that can ruin you in network marketing. You might want to read it. If you, if you are a professor of network marketing, if you own a network marketing company, if you're a C-suite executive in network marketing, you might want to read network marketing 2.0, a manifesto. If you just love to learn about this profession, you might want to read that. Um, if you're interested in what mistakes companies make, not distributors, but companies, the dirty dozen. If you haven't watched the wake up call and used it as a second or third look for your prospects, one of the best tools on the planet and it's free right there. Click there. Watch the wake up call. If you haven't heard my interview of Bob Proctor and Les Brown and Mark Victor Hansen on why network marketing, check out my podcast. If you haven't used these videos to train and educate your team. You're missing out. How network marketing works is funny. And it's not designed to be like, you know, super training, but kind of gives people a, a little bit. If you haven't watched the four ways to increase sales, oh my gosh, this can change everything for you and your team. If you watch it and you get your team to watch it and last, almost lastly, the Bliss Life Guided Visualization Series, that's free. Sign up every day. I'm talking to you for five minutes a day about a different distinction in your life. That's all audio. And then these quizzes, you can use these quizzes for prospects. You can use them for people on your team. You can use them for yourself to raise your awareness of where you're at in the business, financial security, state of motivation, whether or not you're likely to succeed, retention revenue calculator, and more. Here it is down here, MLM tools, secretly hiding on the website. And if you wanna make sure you get my blog and my podcast, sign up there, share it with your team. That is what I have for you. Today, stop sharing. Oh, look at my team. Is there a graphic for the 12 ways? I imagine there is. Susie can answer that. Hey, gang, uh, that's 32 minutes. That's not bad for me. Thank you for joining me. Have an awesome day. I'll see you next Saturday.